Welcome back and thank you very much. You see, here's some of the conversations of air. The final newspaper says 50 million Ghana cities for 5,000 startups and the third window of presidential business support program. Dr. Mohamed Awalde, 371 constituents, contestants chase 165 NPP seats, of which 65 are running unopposed. A situation where Dr. Arta Kennedy says that's undemocratic and that the MPP is only democratic on paper. Existing voter ID card, fruit of poisoned tree, EC files legal argument. We'll hear the full arguments come uh, Wednesday. And COVID, Ghana's COVID-19 case count hit 9,910 with 48 deaths. The Ghanaian Times, Apron writes to ECOWAS on EC decision to compile new register. Customs Division busts illicit drug smuggling syndicate at Aflao and military launches nationwide fumigation exercise of its facilities. Presidential business support, third window. 50 million Ghana City soft loan for 5,000 startups. The Daily Graphic, government to train 26,000 entrepreneurs. 50 million Ghana City's earmarked for program and MPP primaries Parliamentary primaries, 374 battle for 101 seats, uh, 65 go unopposed, three on hold. Court rejects Duku's move to pay 15 million Ghana cities, the venture capital scandal there. Uh, the Daily Guide, venture capital, 42 million Ghana cities loot. Court bounces agreement to pay back what uh, is that been alleged to have been stolen. The nationwide military facilities disinfection begins and MPP clamps down on curses. Those who have been cursing and slaughtering rams and all of that. Mayhem at killer landlord's trial. The BNFT is the final one for this morning. It says uh, banks caught in major violations. Also charges made to loan agreements um, without notice and borrowers not provided pre-agreement contracts exposing customer details uh, to third parties and also unfriendly environment for uh, the fiscally challenged. And then plans to kettle MTN's dominance, bad for investment. Sam George, who is here, maybe he will tell us why he wrote that letter to the Minister for Communications, urges operators to uh, petition and collectively we can stem the tide also on the front page of the Daily Dispatch, as sent to me by uh, Ben Epson. Legal battle on new voter register. EC submits legal basis for new register to Supreme Court. Nationwide disinfection of military installations take off. And how Akufuado's possible loss of 400,000 votes has been avoided. You want to find the Daily Dispatch and read. My guest this morning is the Honorable Sam. George Jata Nati is a member of parliament for the Ningo Pram Pram constituency and also the lawyer Andrew Ejapa Mesa is the member of parliament for the good people of uh, Second D. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How did the rain impact you, Bobo? Well, um, in fact, I, I, I slept quite late yesterday, so uh, it was only some time during this dawn that I had mm -hmm. uh, the rain come down. Uh, uh, driving here, mm. uh, I didn't see much. Okay. You know, uh, probably because of where I live. But mm. of course, when I go in here, I heard you report of other locations mm. where uh, they've been impacted negatively by, by the rain. Uh, I, I wish that, you know, no, no lives are lost. Mm. There's a lot that we have to do in, 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 our, in our drainage, you know, uh, 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 system space. Mm -hmm. It's been with us forever. Okay. I mean, the off air, you and I were talking about ministers of works and housing, mm -hmm. or ministers of works and housing, indicating the need for us to find some investment mm -hmm. in that space. Okay. Uh, but for some reason, uh, we haven't been able to procure the requisite funding mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, we are able to deal with that matter mm -hmm. once and for all. So I, I, I guess that uh, very. Recently, the Minister for Works and Housing mm -hmm. uh, has indicated uh, plans that are advanced to uh, procure the requisite funding to ensure that mm -hmm. we deal with that matter. And I hope that that comes to fruition so that uh, this issue of flooding, mm -hmm. uh, every time that it rains, it becomes a thing of the past. Okay. Uh, let me say a good morning uh, to yourself, Sami, and our cherished viewers. Uh, okay, so. Preliminary comments. 
Sam, how did the rain impact you? Are you hit? Well, uh, let me say a very good morning to yourself, Bobo, and our viewers. Mm. Um, by divine providence, um, I was spared any flooding or mm -hmm. any disaster. However, I mean, I, I, I went to bed almost at one. And before <laughs> that, it had started drizzling. Mm -hmm. And I've been up since about three o'clock because the rains, the lightning, um, it tripped the electricity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I know that that's happened across a couple of places. And I mean, since I've been up, I've been on social media and I've seen videos mm -hmm. that people have put up of their current situation, flooded homes, flooded towns, uh, 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 streets. I drove through Seco mm. to this place, and you need to see the amount of waste debris on the roads, uh, on, on the, uh, just around the interchange there. And you can clearly tell that we, we have not planned for this. We are not, there's no plan for it. We, it appears that those who sit in the Ministry of Works and Housing mm. that have oversight over the drainage system, and not just that ministry now, now that you have a disaggregation, you also have the Ministry of Water and Sanitation mm -hmm. that has some responsibility with regard to sanitation mm -hmm. because you realize that the choking of the drainages are as a byproduct of mm -hmm. poor sanitation. That's right. Um, you realize that there is no concrete plan. Yes, in there's local government as well in the mix. Absolutely. Local government is in that mix also. There clearly is no plan whatsoever to, to deal with this situation. It's a, it's a situation where we engage in talk shop mm -hmm. and... We'll come and sit here and lament. Last week I was here, we lamented right. about it. This mm -hmm. week we are lamenting. I think we'll do that for the next eight weeks. And once it gets dry, mm -hmm. it's business as usual. Um, when I drove through Circle, I just said to myself, wow, Africa's cleanest city, um, as we were told by the president. Mm -hmm. But you see, we need, to, we need to just have a certain willpower, political willpower. Mm -hmm. Fixing this problem, and last week I said it, it's, it's three prongs. Three but I think that the political willpower mm -hmm. is critical because political willpower will whip citizens into line. When they don't have money, how do they whip people into line? No, I mean, ultimately, mm -hmm. if you know that whether you have money or you don't have money, when you know that today, if you go and rob because you don't have money, mm -hmm. you will go to jail. It's a big disincentive for many the people. The minister was asking for money. I've heard some say he has for money. Uh, Collins, Dowda, E.T. Mensah, and the people before them now Atacha is asking for money in Parliament. Just last week, about and that's why I said, and, and that's why I said it is political will. It comes out. Ah, government is always able to find money to do things. Mm. Are you are you willing to find out how much money government is going to be paying for the fifty percent rebate on electricity to ECG, mm. or how much government is going to be paying to Ghana Water for the free water for three months? Or how much government is spending on free SHS? Or how much government is spending on any initiative that any government has ever done? It's about the will. Once there is the will, mm. you find the money for it. It simply is not a priority for government. This government has not shown any sense. It's three and a half years on mm. in power. You would have loved to see a concrete plan. I'm hearing that the Minister for Works and Housing, Honorable Tatcha, mm. is talking about submerged drainage. That's right. You see, you, you realize that what we have is ministers who, when people come, and when you worked in the ministry before, I've worked in the ministry before as, as, a, as a civil servant. Okay. People come there with all kinds of proposals. Mm. You realize that when a proposal comes and it sounds nice, the minister just speaks to the press. Because three years on, since he was appointed minister, it is during the rainy season that he's now telling us that he thinks we should do submerged drains. When did that idea come to him? What plan has he done? Take the budget for 2020. When he came to defend his budget before the committee on works and housing, was there any plan for submerged drainage? When any business manager walks to you with an idea, it doesn't mean you should come and speak about it. The bottom line here is this. There is no plan. We are moving on autopilot and, and we are looking up to God. My heart and, and thoughts go out to the, the homeless mm. and those whose residence is not a residence properly so-called. Mm and who are at the mercy of the weather because the next eight weeks the next eight weeks okay. uh, 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 you can only imagine the pain that they will go through well, well, let me let me be fair to you and give you uh, some time because some has taken about four minutes uh, let me give you some some time i remember that sometime in february last year the president asked nadmo and some other collaborators to bring forth the national disaster plan as we speak uh, the last week uh, 
a month ago when I spoke with Georgie, he said that the plan was still being baked. Now it's been one year over. Some say there's lack of political will and that we're just uh, interested in the flowery language. The plan is not there. Is there really a plan? I, I, I guess that it's important to distinguish what the plan of the Ministry of Works and Housing is mm -hmm. as opposed to the National Disaster Plan right. that you made reference to. You see, as usual with politicians, mm -hmm. yeah, and you make comments to the effect that there's no will, there's no plan, uh, you work in the public or civil service, mm -hmm. uh, people come and present proposals that ministers speak to. Mm -hmm. But you and I know, I've seen outdoor restoration plan. Ecological yes. restoration project, yeah. It's there. <coughs> Call it Lagoon Restoration. Call it Lagoon Restoration. <coughs> I'm, I'm sure you Thank you very much. There's a plan. But have we been able to find the money to fund it? President Kufo, so, he, found, so, he found the money. And now what happened? I don't know. President Mills did the county mm. thing. Mm. What happened? I'm sure that when Mr. Mahama was president as well, they reported to do something. Indeed, they awarded a contract for the dredging of the Odor. What happened? Okay, so, so it's convenient that now, because you are in opposition, mm. you speak the way you speak. But of course, you were in government only a few years ago. Three, that problem was there. Three years ago. So if you had fixed it, mm. we wouldn't be talking about it today. But I'm saying that going forward, mm -hmm. whatever commitments that government ought to put in place to ensure we bring this matter to a close one for, once and for all is what we have to do. Which and is let's not stop the... Of course, it's, 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 it's an issue of money. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom line. I know that very recently Parliament approved some money for the outdoor drains. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know how early those backdoor conclusions ought to be put in place before the project actually starts mm -hmm. okay but it has to be done because we all know that this is a matter that happens every year it's perennial okay we recall the june 10 incident mm -hmm. which was as a result of of rains when mr mahama was president people lost their lives people didn't have shelter then people don't have shelter today but you and i know you sit in parliament you know the resource envelope that this country is having to deal with yes i agree Priority. That's some priority, yeah, of course. Mm. And, and you can have all the priorities that there are. You can't find money to fund all of them. Okay? And so you do it bit by bit. But I'm saying that it's important that we find money wherever we can to make sure that we deal with this problem once again. Because, look, this has been with us for years. Mm -hmm. For how long can we continue to have this situation as a country? Okay. Some of these kinds of things are where we can come together as mm. a people, as uh, two political divide mm. sides, to say that, look, government, yes, we do politics of debt to GDP ratios, mm. but this is something that we need to exclude, take out from our usual conversation, find money to fix it, and we won't do political bantering with it. Because... People's lives are at stake. Mm. Okay, and with respect to the NADMO uh, document, I'm, I'm not aware, but quick, 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 of course, mm. if, if it's taking a year mm. to only prepare a national disaster mm. plan, mm. then there's a lot that ought to be. Okay, thank uh, you. Uh, Some, as to how we'll come get into that, that the, is the case. Yesterday, the MPP and the NDC had press conferences. We'll get into it, but I've seen a love letter that you have written to the Honorable Minister for Communication. You are asking for. Uh, some explanation into the notice, into possible conflict situation where the NCA boss, uh, Mr. Kuku Sechiadu, my good senior, is, uh, has been advertised to appear on a local radio station and you say there's conflict of interest. Where are you getting the motivation from? You also mentioned, Mr. Paul Adumotri, that you're quoting sections of the NCA Act. Uh, where are you getting this, this energy from? <laughs> well, uh, I am I'm making reference to portions of the NCA Act, mm. Act 769, okay? Um, if you read Act 769, and, and I, in my letter, mm. I did quote portions of, 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 the, of the Act. Mm. But basically, you have a situation where 
Mr. Kweku Sechiadu. And mm -hmm. with a great, I have great respect for him we as a veteran journalist. We all do. However, and I was excited when mm -hmm. he was appointed as the board chair of the NCA because I thought that that would allow for better expression mm -hmm. for media houses since one of their own was acting as board chair of the regulator. Mm -hmm. However, what you didn't see now is that you have this board chair and another member of the board mm -hmm. actively working in media houses. Mm -hmm. Now, they are supposed to take decisions with or at the regulatory body mm -hmm. that oversees these media houses. And if you read the, the, the Act, Act 6-2, uh, uh, sorry, Section 6.2, okay. which has deals with the governing body of the authority, says mm -hmm. a person is not qualified for appointment, that's to the board, mm -hmm. if that person, A, is directly or indirectly involved mm -hmm. in the management of, or B, has a financial or commercial interest mm -hmm. in a communication network operator, a communication service provider, a communication equipment manufacturer, or supplier, either of whom operate within the company, mm -hmm. the country, or outside the country, or any other entity with an interest in the communication industry of this country. Mm -hmm. A that's, media that's house. very broad. A media house, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you cannot be a player in any way, be you directly or indirectly, or have an interest. Now, when you, in, with respect to the two individuals, that's what I've written to the minister, mm -hmm. speaking about possible conflict of interest, I wrote mm -hmm. as far back as Thursday. I'm hoping I'll get a response. The, you look at he working in Asasi FM, 99.5, mm. and Paul Adumotri working with Metro TV, Good mm. Evening Ghana. Mm. These two individuals, is there any financial consideration for the work that they are doing or about to do? Is there any financial consideration arising out of the work Paul Adumotri does on Good Evening Ghana? Mm. Is there going to be any financial consideration arising out of the work Mr. Kweku Sechado is going to be doing on Asasi FM? Mm. Are they going to be part of, uh, are they part of, will they play any role in management of those media houses? Then the governing, the act, section 6-2, mm -hmm. says that they cannot be on the board. They choose one. You either are on the board or off the board. Maybe they are retiring or resigning. You don't know that. Well, you need to resign before you go, you take. You cannot have a situation where you are doing both. Mm -hmm. And you see, Paul Adumotri's own has been on for so long and it looked like nobody seemed to be talking. And so that has emboldened now the board chair himself is getting involved in in an issue. Imagine if an issue arises mm -hmm. where the NCA has to take a decision on a SASI effort. Mm -hmm. And you have the board chairman of the NCA on working at a SASI effort. How then do you expect any 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 justiciable, especially if it's an issue between a SASI FM and maybe another media house? You say this should not happen. The, not I don't say. The Act, Act 769 says it should not happen. And then when you also look at the composition of the board, I raised basically those, that issue right. and then an issue of the fact that there is no female on the board as we speak. Okay. The, the law says there must be a female. Oh, yes. One. The law says that it, the same uh, section 6.1 of the Act, Governing Board of the Authority, says the Governing Board of the Authority is a board consisting of A, the chairperson, B, the, the Director General appointed under section 16, C, one representative of the National Security Council, mm. National Media Council, Ministry of Communication, not below the rank of a director. D, one person with experience and expertise in communication. Mm. And E, three other P persons, at least one of whom is a woman, and each of whom has knowledge or expertise in electrical engineering, law, business, or public admin. When the board was constituted by the minister in 2017, there was a woman on the board. What happened? During the Kelly GVG drama, mm. she resigned. I do not she know. She resigned because of that. I, I do not know if her resignation was because of Kelly GVG. I cannot say that as a matter of fact. Okay. But I know that during the bruhaha over the NCA's engagement with Kelly GVG, mm. she did resign. There were there were there, there was rumor making the mail that she resigned on the principal position because she was objecting to the processes that led to the signing of the Kelly GVG mm. uh, contract. I do not have facts to that, okay. but that's the rumor that made. But you are saying that there's no. But a since her on resignation. Since her resignation, mm. and this Kelly GVG deal was 2018, it's been almost two years or over two years, and no woman has been put on the board to replace it. And I'm drawing the attention of the minister. I want to believe it's an oversight, but she's a woman. And in, in public office, mm. we are expecting and, and lobbying and advocating for more female involvement. Mm. Where the law is specific, 
if you look at the board composition, it's almost 10 people on the board. Mm. There's only space at least for at least one woman. And you do not even have one woman there. The one woman there has resigned and mm. we've not replaced her after over two years. And that's why I'm drawing the attention of the minister mm. that her board as constituted at the NCA mm. flies in the face of the law. It does not comply with the law. Mm. And so she must, she must avert her mind mm. while she's fighting MTN and, and, and telecom companies. She must avert her mind to what the act that set up the NCA okay. tells her to do. Okay. So bottom line is that you don't want the board chairman to go sit on radio. Not just the board chairman or any member of the board must not work in a media house. Okay. Uh, Bobo, if I hear Sam right, he's saying that the referee is on the park playing for a side of the team. I, in fact, not I, just on the park, I he's wearing their jersey. Oh, I please, wonder, allow me. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder what kind of uh, interpretation that my very good friend is putting to this provision. What's your interpretation? You see, what is financial or commercial interest? Do you have a financial or commercial interest in TV3? I don't answer questions here. No, you are an employee. Doesn't make you one that has a financial or commercial interest in an entity. Okay. That's a fact. So there's nothing wrong with the board chairman. <laughs> so so I, I don't know whether Mr. Kweku Sechiado works in any radio station. Okay. I don't. And I don't know whether he's in management of any radio station. Okay. I don't. Okay. I don't know whether he has a financial or commercial interest or even an employee mm. in any radio station. So let them tell us. Of course, you ought to prove it. I don't know. You don't know if there's any... Um, uh, he's raising, for example... I don't know. A, a question I, I, about... I, I, you, do you know? Well, I, I, saw the, I saw the notice around. I've seen some publications, some or things so. on, on social media. Mm. But is that what I'm supposed to rely on? Okay. But as you mean that Mr. Kweku Sechiodo is working in the media house, mm. you ought to be able to establish whether, in fact, he's in management to disqualify him. Where's the basis? Mm. And if you are unable to establish whether it's in management, mm. you ought to be able to establish whether he has a financial or commercial interest. That's not an employee. Are you it's somebody who has an interest, equity, a stake in the business. That's what this law seeks to prescribe. That, that what are it. we talking about? That is it. That is exactly what it is. Okay. So you see nothing so, wrong with the board chairman. Look, I don't know. I, I don't have... But what, what? it could be... For whatever reason, his passion. Okay. The provision itself allows for somebody in communication mm. to be on the board. That's right. So what's the issue? Of course, if he has a management interest in any of the listed entities, mm. by all means, I agree with his position. But we, if don't, he has, we don't know now. Absolutely. Okay. So why am I supposed to be invited to speculate on that matter? But do you think it's fair for, for the referee, in this case, the board chairman, who will adjudicate on such matters when, for example, there's an infringement on the side of a broadcaster to be the one sitting in the chair behind a microphone and hosting a show? Is it fair? You see, content of media houses mm -hmm. has got nothing to do with the NCA. It's the media commission mm -hmm. that deals with content. NCA deals with Spectrum, licensing, mm. okay, and, and, and if you like the infrastructure. So, where's the conflict? Okay. All right. We, we, we have to switch topics. We have let, to switch topics. No, no, no. Topics. I beg you. Just to correct him. Recently, mm. the NCA shut down Radio Town. What was the reason for shutting down Radio Town? Content. The content on air in Radio Town, the NCA wrote to them and said they deemed it to be a threat to national security. It wasn't the National Media Commission. They shut down Radio Town. So it is incorrect to suggest you see, that the NCA would not deal with a media house on the basis of content also. Mm. Okay, I'm giving you a typical example. Mm. Just this year, Radio mm. Town was shut down on the basis of content you by see, the NCA. You see, Bobo. Johnny, mm. me, I'm a lawyer. Okay, so educators. So I deal with evidence. So educators. Me, I'm not aware of the reason that NCA gave for shutting radio mm. oh, I have seen the know. letter. I have seen the letter. So I'm it was. To, I'm speaking to you. Oh, but so it was. was. So this that we all are. But so what you know. Ah, it, it is gospel. public. It is public knowledge, my brother. This is not something Bobo, that you know. It's supposed to be gospel. Bobo, so you want to find the letter. You, what? you, 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 an active, you are a knowledgeable person in the industry. Bobo, why? Now hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Does the NCA, per your reading of the law, mm. have the authority to shut a radio station for content? Okay. While he looks for the letter, let me ask you. So, he so raises, some of these he things, let's not do it. Bobo. We all know the reasons why some media houses were shut down in this country. Bobo. NCA issued a public statement Bobo. indicating breaches in their authorization. While, while he looks for that letter, he's raised two questions. One, about the composition of the board where the women are being shot. No, I, I think that, that's, the that's a legitimate And then the, the, the second portion is that there are two members of the board who are now going to play on the field they are supposed to regulate. Your quick thoughts about that. I've that given you my up. thoughts mm. relative to the two members. Okay. I'm saying that as I sit here, I do not have any proof mm. whatsoever to confirm that indeed these persons that he makes reference to okay. have a management role mm. in those media houses or that they have a financial and commercial interest mm. in those entities that he's making the, reference. The end, I don't know. They earn money from them. I, I am reading from allow the NCA's website. Allow me. Allow me. Allow me. You see, you see, you see, you see, so who says an employee has an interest in a business? That's the confusion that people put across. Mm. What is a, is, is a financial interest? Okay. What is it? Okay, let's, let's make progress. Uh, so, okay. respect to the... We, we need to switch to the topic. Woman appointment. Mm. Of course. You, you agree I'm with that? I'm not too one. familiar with the entirety of the fact. Okay. But if it is the case that the lady resigned at a certain point and mm. there's been no replacement, or that a replacement has been put there who was not a woman, mm. then that situation ought to be remedied. Okay. That's, I won't have no qualms at like, all about yes, that. So, yes, just because the, cre the credibility of what I said has been called into question. I'm reading from the NCA's website. The mm. NCA issued a release. I didn't and, call anything and, and, into... And, 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 and I want I'm saying I'm not aware, so put it out. So allow, allow, on, 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 the, on the 13th of February And this will be the last submission. Yes, on right. the 13th of, of, of February 2020, the NCA hereby confirms that it has suspended the broadcasting authorization of Tongue Community Multimedia Network and closed down Radio Tongue 92.1 megahertz in Sugakopi. Mm. It lists a chronology of events, but for the benefit of time, mm. I'll jump straight to number seven. The petitioners on 9th January 2020 wrote to the NCA alleging that Mr. Bestway Zoto was using the radio station for defamation, mm. religious teaching, teachings to create confusion among churches, and for political campaigns promoting the separatist agenda of the Western Togoland movement. Eight, the NCA also took into consideration the arrest by the police of Mr. Bestway Zoto, the manager of the station, upon the request of the District Security Council for using the station to promote the agenda okay. of the separatist movement. Nine, after a critical review of the escalation, it goes on and on. So clearly, okay. it is on the basis of content on the radio station mm. that Radio Town was shut down. Thank you. Your point so, is wrong. Again, your, again. Your, your point is wrong. Well. You, 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 you are finished. You are finished. Let's that, that, just be clear. I have not passed judgment. You see, because in Bobo's submission, he makes it look as though I'm, I'm making a case that doesn't exist. That is why I have written to the minister. Mm. To explain. I've written to the minister, and if you look at it, I said possible conflict of interest right. asking the minister to come out and explain it's mm. been now over 96 hours since i wrote to her right. okay she, there's been no response and the simple question here is madam this is what i think mm. are the issues she should come out and explain to us why the board chairman must still remain as board chairman mm. a board member must remain as board member and continue to have what i deem to be financial interest in, in so, radio station, okay. you are inviting you. the minister to conduct an investigation to determine whether Mr. Kuku Sechado has a financial interest in a it, media it, house. Is, is it fair? Why you are making the assertion? Is it fair? No, he is making the assertion. Mm. Why doesn't he support his assertion with the facts? Okay. I'm saying that I have made Thank a you. fact. Let's, of, let's move on, gentlemen. Let's, let's, oh, let's move on. Let's move on. Bobo, yesterday, the new uh, the, um, the NDC, uh, Sami Jenfi, held a press conference <laughs> with uh, Felix Fosu Kwachi, and they were talking about Boss Gate that since the boss scandal happened, it's been swept under the carpet. Mr. Bay has not been held, uh, he hasn't had his feet held to the fire. We can't account for the proceeds of the over 5 million, uh, you know, liters of fuel that, that were contaminated and sold to persons who were not qualified to trade in that area, for example. And that makes the president and the people around him, uh, in fact, the president, the patron in chief, of corruption and all his acolytes supporting him. Is that a claim you would want to take? What's your response to, to them quickly? You see, uh, my friends in NDC uh, clearly are only interested in recycling matters that they deem to uh, amount to, to corruption. Mm. Uh, 
create a sense of perception out there that this government is corrupt and that some persons are interested in shielding wrongdoers. Mm. And they copiously refer to some investigation that was led by, set up by BOST, mm -hmm. led by uh, Mr. Senior Hoshi, mm -hmm. okay, uh, which made some findings uh, with respect to some monies that persons who are indebted to BOST haven't paid. You see, Johnny, mm -hmm. the scope of the investigation itself covered 2014 to 2017. Mm. 2014, 15, and 16. Who, who was in government? Who? So why then do they exclude that aspect of the investigation mm. and focus on the period under the governance of His Excellency Nana Dodakwa Kufuado? Tell me. Why? You ask them. No, you tell me. Of course, I told you before. Mm. Purely to play politics. Look, when this bust issue broke, well told, and there, some allegations were made mm -hmm. that uh, uh, contaminated fuel right. slop was sold to unlicensed moving pina, unlicensed entities. Right. Check in the NCA NPA Act mm -hmm. and tell me under which category of licenses that that contaminated fuel lies. Doesn't exist, mm -hmm. and so that's why. It was established subsequently that, mm. indeed, because there was no licensing regime for that kind of product, mm. they had some custom of trade where in previous years, up to 20 million mm. liters had been sold to 38 companies, including the local staff union. Who were qualified? Of course. That's why I said there was a custom okay. of trade mm. that we dispose of contaminated fuel slop mm. in a certain manner based on requests mm. that people make mm. and we make allocations to them. That was the situation that happened on the moving pina. So where's the money? That's what they're asking. Well, BOST is a limited liability company. Mm. If it sells products to people who haven't paid, I expect that they will take appropriate legal steps to recover their money. Is the government interested in retrieving the money? Of course, the board of BOST ought to be interested. Mm. And by extension, the ministry and government, yes. By all means. So with several other entities, mm. ECG, VRA, whatever. Mm. They do business. But you see, consistent with other accusations that mm. have been thrown out there, mm -hmm. we all know that there's some Transparency International and uh, uh, the other one. Uh, Afro barometer, Afro -barometer. They, they measure corruption perception. Right, index. Mm. Index, mm. not actual perception. So it's convenient for political opponents to, on the slightest of some issue cropping up, mm. blowing it out of proportion to create that perception. Mm. It happened in the 2.5 billion bond. Okay, Templeton. Thank you. Where they said that the finance minister has sold Ghana bonds to his friend, mm. Franklin Templeton. It turned out that Franklin Templeton itself is an institution, not a human being. They alleged corruption. In mm. fact, they told us that they had lodged a complaint to the Securities and Nation Commission in America. To date, even if they took a canoe with a paddle, they would have been back. They still haven't come. You saw the issue with the promotional thing that Trade Ministry did. Mm. They made all sorts of wild allegations. Presidency for, for sale. Mm. Cash for seat. What was it? I'm sure in your line of work, you are involved in some uh, 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 event promotion. Or some of your colleagues are. Where sponsorships of programs mm. are categorized. And depending on the kinds of benefits that are attached, people subscribe to. What did they say? It, it, has any so, has any see, action been look, brought uh, against Mr. Bing? For I what? That, I don't, I, I don't I, know. I, I think that they see. say they say look, the silence of the government on these things in itself endorses the tag of corruption I, on I, the president I, I, and, and I, I, his government. I disagree because Why if there's disagree? no basis, if there's no basis whatsoever mm. to prosecute, nobody will prosecute. 
NDC saying it notwithstanding. Mm. Because they have a motive, which is to create a certain impression mm. of this government being corrupt. They have launched a corruption tracker on you. I hope that they bring the Airbus 1-2 as part of their corruption tracker. I hope. Because that happened before the Kufuado government came into office. Mm. Let them highlight that one first. And tell us whether, in fact and indeed, this country did not purchase Airbus from Airbus company within the period that is stated in that judgment. Okay, wrap up for me. And that we didn't have people who were elected mm. and in government office at the time. And that those persons did not introduce their brothers to be middlemen in that transaction. Let them put it on their tracker and we'll have a conversation. Okay, Sam, is it in your place, your party's place, the NDC, to launch such a tracker on the, the NPP and, and say that Akufado, for example, is the patron in chief and he's the, um, if you like, the propeller of everything corruption as we speak and that uh, the boss gate is so big that in itself, it's not handled. I'm sure in the coming days, you're going to be talking about other things. But is it in your place to be launching such a tracker? All right. Thank you very much. And uh, let me state that Bobo has been at pain to try and absorb President Akufuado. for yourself, my brother. From <laughs> <laughs> I don't know allow. why they do that. Allow, allow, when somebody allow. makes his point, he says he's been at paid. Speak for yourself. You allow him. And let the viewers make a decision. Bobo, allow him. Allow him. He kept quiet. I, I hope my time has not started counting. No. You I'm can even take the rest of the time. I'm fine. Look, whether he walks on his head on this show or not, mm. President Akufuado is the most corrupt president in the history of this republic. Prove it. Ah, fantastic. Thank you. Invitation to treat. He appointed people who engaged in corruption in capital letters, in red capital letters. And what did he do? He covered up and cleaned up for them. Show me one appointee of President Akufado mm. who has been accused with evidence of wanting corruption. Committee has been set up to investigate. The committee has found out acts of corruption. President Akufado clears the person. Who? Alfred Obin. The committee that was set up by Boachie Jakun. Mm. That was whose, whose mandate was usurped by the BNI because they wanted to cover up for the president. They wanted to do, give the president an opportunity to escape. Look, mm -hmm. there's a litany, and I'm happy he started naming them. Cash for seats. Mm -hmm. All of them. Which of them, which of those accusations have you seen a concrete, robust denial with evidence? Apart from the fact that the president just comes out and clears his, his appointees. Look, when it comes to this movie, Pina thing, and let's, let's set the record straight. You cannot, you cannot seek to approbate and reprobate, and you mm. cannot seek to equate us. We are not the same. How when so? it comes to the discussion on corruption, mm. the NDC and the NPP are not the same. Are you sure? The NPP is an institution built on corruption. How? Ah, the NPP is made up of people who believe that corruption is the way to build them, themselves. Look, let me, let me, let, let's be clear okay. here. Mm. Under no time under the NDC, did you have, because he tried to say, oh, it happened under the NDC. It's not true. At no time under the NDC, did you have contaminated oil sold to an unlicensed, unregistered company? Not under a word, I'm telling you, never. I'm challenging him. At the time of Ipina and whatever, Zoop Oil were giving them, they were not even registered with Register General. They were not registered entities. We are not even talking about licensing, you know. We're talking about company registration. He's a lawyer. Certificate of incorporation. He's a lawyer. Mm. Should boss do business with a company that is not registered with the Registrar General's Department of Ghana? And then secondly, show me any instance under Iwada or under the NDC. Where the NDC sold contaminated oil and the receipts and payments have not been lodged with boss. It's three years on. Three years on. He said they are limited, a, 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 a company on their own. They should be able to retrieve what is owed them. When the president appoints somebody to go and head an institution, and that person sells state property, and money must be, rem must be remitted to the state, and that person has not ensured that that money is remitted, the president is sitting there and clapping his hands and laughing, ha, 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 for that person to walk on free. And you tell me that they are a limited liability company? Wherein lies the responsibility of the president? They are appointing authority. If it is not that the president himself is conniving, he is colluding, he is complicit in the corruption. Look, nobody will say anything that will convince me, Sam George, that President Akufado is not corrupt and complicit in the boss issue. His actions and inactions lend credence to the fact that 
as, as, as president, he is the purveyor and chief sponsor of corruption in this country. But he allowed for investigations to go on. What investigations? When Boachie Ejaku, the then minister, set up a committee, did he not quickly get the BNI to come to usurp the powers of that committee? And before even the committee's report was ready, he came out to clear him. A president who is quick and in a hurry to clear appointees of his who've engaged in corruption, and you want to tell me that that is the man I can trust with my taxes? A man who came to office on the back of a huge anti-corruption campaign mm. and has been nothing but an embodiment of corruption? Look, you ask any small child today, now, what does corruption look like? They'll tell you, they'll mention President Kufado's name. Oh, no, they won't. I'm telling you, they will. They, they won't. Because they would know. They would know. You see, you see, today, they, they won't. You see, it is interesting and, 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 and at times shocking when you listen to my friends in the MPP. Bobo is talking about perception and saying that you blow things out of. You compose their song. A song. The Minister for Communication, she was the mm. choir leader. Mm. They composed a song down at the NDC. What did they do with perception? Was it not on the back of corruption perceptions that you came to office? When your senior Oyomi minister... Didn't happen. When your... What have you done about Oyomi? I'm asking you what Since I didn't you happen. came to office, when you claim Oyomi was Jita bad, didn't happen. since you came to office, what have you done? Sada didn't happen. Well, you see, the business of Brandon didn't happen. Hey. Okay. Okay. Uh, but one minute. These are matters of fact. He's, he's interrupting me. Okay. <laughs> see? You have to be wrapping up for me. <laughs> Look, today, President Mahama, if you've not had breakfast, mm. may God bless you. Ghana needs someone like you, a president like you. You know why? You mentioned Jida, you mentioned Sada. Who mm -hmm. investigated Jida and Sada? It was not on the basis of allegations from outside. It was the president himself who commissioned those inquiries into those actions and took action against officers of That's his own government. True. Abu Gapele. <laughs> Abu Gapele was an appointee. Okay. It is with these were audit findings. Oh, okay. okay. Audit and general findings. Let me learn. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. But Mas Azuri and Co. Let me learn. I don't have Sorry. Please, if you are not, if you are not, if you are not, we are not, 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 not members of the short memory association. If you are not informed about it. Okay. Hi, Johnny. Good morning. Your microphones are off. Sorry about. Hi, Johnny. Good morning. And thanks to you and your crew for the good work you're doing every day. Let me say, Ghanaians are fed up with talks without action. So I think the politicians should spare us the hula balloons and start uh, uh, work because parties have come and gone. Promises have been made since these problems of flooding started and nothing has been done about them. So it looks as if our leaders are only interested in talking about the problem without fixing it. Um, Basua Kudum uh, from Kumasi. Good morning, Johnny and Etona, my crush. I like the way you attack your panelists with vital questions. God bless you. Johnny and Sam George, I like your dress. Epiphras from Dunsuman. These issues about flooding in Ghana will never stop simply because the authorities that check building permit do not work. You go to developing areas like Amomole, Pukwase, and so on, and check how people are seriously uh, filling up waterways to put buildings. When will the MPP ever be wrong? When will they also ever stop rationalizing? They came to power to fix the alleged incompetences of the then government. All we expect is they should fix it and stop continuously blaming it on the past government. Uh, good morning, Johnny. I like the way the MPP panelist is uh, handling the perennial flooding issue. All the political parties who have been in power before must bow their heads in shame than playing a blame game this morning. Sam George should be ashamed of himself for politicizing everything in the blame game. This is Johnny from Sugakope. Good morning, Johnny. The only law that work in Ghana is a law at the public toilet where men go and men's chamber and the vice, vice versa. Who gave those who built in the slums permits to build? Those in authority should always be held responsible. My regards to Honorable Oklete Telabi, MP for Lower Manyakrobo constituency. Sir Bright sent that from Agomanya. Good morning. I'm very disappointed in your panelists for using flood for politics. They are all living in good areas, so they don't experience such things, so they will use uh, it for politics. The government should demolish our buildings, built to block the water from flowing from uh, when it rains, from Kwame GH. Good morning, Mr. Johnny and Eton. I'm Honorable Sam George is doing a fantastic job. He should keep it up. Braima Adamu Awuribi from Buipe. We can't get money to fix our drainage system, but we can find money to do new registration. Uh, what at all is wrong with us as a country, Johnny? Eriram Adenta, new site. Good morning, Johnny. I salute all you and your team this morning. In fact, TV3, you are the voice of the voiceless. Say hi to Sam George. Johnny, JM said it all. Posterity will be the best judge. 
Hmm, tell Honorable Bobo to be calm. It's not about big English. It's about getting the work done. NDC was voted out because Ghanaians uh, bought into their plans for the country. TV3, do have a great and blissful day. Shalom from David Agana Borga. Let me take the last one. Good morning, Johnny. Consider a country where the chiefs are custodians of our lands. People build before acquiring building permits. Our institutions flooded with bribery and corruption. What do you expect? If we don't get strong men to manage strong institutions, floods will continue to engulf us. Greetings to Honorable Dr. S.K. Nyama, Kuranchi Pong Frank, Kwa uh, Daso Kumase. Okay, Kabe. thank you very much. Uh, Sam, take well. your last two minutes. So, yesterday, you also spoke about the Green Book. Um, yes, so we'll swap, which we'll share the time among you. It's about three or four minutes. We'll share maybe two, two. Um, you spoke about the Green Book as well, but you made your point strongly on the corruption thing. Let's talk about the Green Book. You say it was not lies after all, but everything is inside. Oh, look, I finally did a fantastic job yesterday. Mm. Did, when President Akufado went to inspect the Terminal 3, mm. did he work on pages of the Green Book? When he went to, when he went to Ridge Hospital to see how the new Ridge Hospital was prepared to handle COVID patients, why? Was he floating on the, on the pages of the Green Book like, like Aladdin did on a floating carpet? Look, I am challenging Bobo, and we have challenged President Akufuadu to name one, one, one project in the Green Book that does not exist. One. You see, President Akufado doesn't read. Oh. He doesn't he read. You can't say that. If he does All read. lawyers read. Listen, if President Akufado reads, he wouldn't have read a plagiarized speech as his inauguration speech. He wouldn't have continued to read several plagiarized speeches. He wouldn't have signed the biggest corruption inflated contract in this country, American Innovation, and come back after he's been caught pants down to tell us that he was misled. A president who reads doesn't get misled. I'm telling you, President Akufado doesn't read. He's not read the Green Book. If President Akufado has read the Green Book, he will not be disgracing himself every day by saying that the Green Book is made up of, of, of fantasy projects. Fantasy projects, yet you yourself went there. He's, I'm sure he's not even aware of the projects in the Green Book. If he knew the projects in the Green Book, mm -hmm. he will not be walking around saying fantasy projects. The same man who claimed that he paid 2 billion Ghana cities mm -hmm. to road contractors, and that those road contractors were road contractors who were giving jobs under President Mahama. And he has come and has paid $2 billion. Turns around and tells you that President Mahama did not build any road. So did he pay those road contractors for, for singing or for dancing? What did he pay them for? If, they did not, if road contractors did not construct road, mm. and he is telling us he paid $2 billion, President Akufado is a candidate for jail, for causing financial loss to the state. Look, we need to call a spade a spade. Mm. The president should stop insulting the intelligence of Ghanaians, and we are, we are fed up with this insult of our intelligence. You cannot, you cannot keep walking around and throwing flowery speech. You, you won't build. Somebody has built. You will come and you come and rename. And then you turn around and say that the person has not done anything. Look, for every lie of President Akufado going forward, we will face him boot for boot. We will hold him squarely. And like I said, I'm happy Bobo is opening papers. Show me one project in the Green Book. That okay. is not real. Yesterday, suddenly, the, the Green Books resurfaced. Uh, we haven't seen the Green Books in a while. In fact, I have a copy for you. We were looking for it yesterday at the press conference. We saw plenty. We were shocked. The press were shocked. You the Green Book is like the Bible. Did you reprint them? It is everywhere. <laughs> it is the Book of Life. Bobo, -bo, Green Book issues. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm some says the, the Green is Book... Is that your message for 2020 general elections? Uh, forget, don't you, because... don't you have a few, don't you have a <laughs> candidate. You are talking about our message. Oh, you are not in this country. You accuse somebody of not reading. Yes. Uh, you are not aware that the MPP National Executive Council has selected Nanado Dagobu. But you are yet to acclaim him. Fantastic. You are an undemocratic party. <laughs> Bobo, you are yet to acclaim him. We, we have only one He's candidate. not been acclaimed. Bo oh, allow so, me. Allow so, me. So, Bobo, you are yet to so, acclaim him. Ah, he accuses somebody of not reading, but he hasn't read the MPP. Bobo, without the acclamation. No, 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 hold on. 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 It's empty. Bobo, because you, if you've read Bobo, it... Bobo, you are the lawyer. Without no, acclamation, oh, is a please, person qualified? Please, please. In fact... 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 Our National Executive Council has the power mm. to even reject a candidate that is selected by Congress. You have not answered the question. 
So, so I'm telling you the powers without are acclamation, national, without executive. acclamation, is Sam, a push the candidate. Allow. See, you see, you what are people of not reading. Sam, Sam, my question, uh, uh, my question is hanging. He's setting his own the, question. The acclamation is ceremonial. Ah, okay. Is it the candidate of the new patriotic party for the twenty? 20 general election has been selected. So by law, the you application heard, is ceremonial. Oh, of previously, you knew that on the 20th of June, we're going to mm. do primaries for presidential and parliamentary. That's right. But the general secretary has informed us that at the appropriate time, His Excellency the President, the candidate of the new patriotic party will be adored. Mm. You haven't heard him say it. So you let them sit there and kid themselves that we don't have a candidate. Mm. Let them kid themselves. They will read. Mm. You see, is it not the case that the Green Book had artist impressions in them. Five. Allow me. Five. The, mm -hmm. uh, let me state them. The KJTR market, the, 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 the Ridge Hospital, and then, and, then, and then Terminal 3. All of these projects have been completed it today is, as we speak. It is his time. Go to Kumasi and tell the KJTR people, Bobo. people using KJTR market that it, it, it is, is an artist it impression. Is, it is his time. Wait, wait. You so, see, Bobo, take your time. You see, ah. the Green Book is full of distortions Inaccuracies, falsehoods. Please give us an example. Indeed, and I will read them out for you. Okay, go ahead. ahead. Let's let's read. Some allow allow Bobo to to. to On page show. sixteen and seventeen, mm -hmm. they said that the University of Health and Allied Sciences is your Muhammad's project. Is it not? The sword for that project was cut on seven February two thousand and eleven by President Moss. There are plethora of them. They are ah! right here. You see, hold on. Hold in 2011, on. was John Muhammad part of the government? Oh. Ah, so now you did eight years. Was he so part the of the book, government? So the Green Book is an, is an amalgamation of eight years of work. Jesus Christ. Is that it? Mm. What's your, you see, what's your point? My point is this. Mm. So now MPP wants to fight NDC over at a mill. Look, Sam, Josh. I'm speaking to myself. What, there what's your are, point? We're actually on borrowed time. Also. The, 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 the fact of the see. matter is that, mm. look, you even cut sword for the Tema interchange. On November 3rd, 2016, and told the good people of this country mm -hmm. that it was going to be funded by a World Bank funding of 66 million. What changed? It was false. It was deception. It was, it was a party that guarded excavators, articulators, tipper trucks there to cut sword, to deceive the people of Ghana. There was How can you say World Bank? When at that time, Mahama had already engaged Jaika. So why did you cut the sword? Okay. Because the Jaika funding was not approved until oh. March of 2017. Okay. Oh. Hey, I have here loans that were contracted in 2018. Thank you. Obechebilam Tesaiko is still here. Thank you. But they tell us that Mr. Mahama cut sword. Go and take the hands up. Go and take the hands up. Sam George. Next week, the member of parliament will bring the hands up. The new no problem constituency. Uh, next week, when you're coming, bring the hands up. And uh, also, Honorable Andrew, a Japan Mesa, is a member of parliament for the second D constituency.